Merry Christmas from Conversations with Candy. Um, we're here decorating our tree and we're kind of half done. <laughs> but we thought we would film a little bit and show you kind of what we do getting ready for Christmas. Yes, it is the day after Thanksgiving, but we figured we're going to put our tree up. So we might as well enjoy it for as long as possible. So we put it up the day after Thanksgiving and we always take it down after New Year's. <laughs> so we've got it at least for a month. Anyway, um, right now we have uh, our fireplace going our uh, fake fireplace going with Christmas carols to kind of get us in the mood and I will come show you what we've hung so far and then you can watch us hang some more ornaments as we go along and I can tell you a little bit about some of the different ones we have and why they're important and why they're special to us. So come on. Okay, so some of these are, like I said, we've already hung some of them. Come here, So. There's this one that's got like a little bird and some silver in it. Can you see really good? A little bit. So this ornament here we got up in Oakland, which is one of our favorite places in California, just when we first got married. And this is just something I thought was really kind of cute, like a little picture window, which is obviously kind of coming and done because it's like eight years old. It's got like a little bird and it says Christmas wishes on the inside. Okay. Last year when we went to Disneyland in California, so we got the Lady and the Tramp because we don't have any kids and... I'm a lady and he's a tramp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just kidding, he's not really a tramp. But anyway, that's the ornament we got from Disneyland. We got this ornament here from um, this one, can you see it? We got this little seahorse guy right here from the aquarium up here in Sandy, Utah, um, one year. Let's see, what other ones do we have? Um, we have a bunch of Hello Kitty ones because I love Hello Kitty. So there's this little Hello Kitty in a go-go Christmas tree shaped cage sitting on a bell. We have this Hello Kitty here that Scott bought me one year for Christmas. Her ear got chipped, but I keep her anyway because she's so, so, so cute and it was just an ear. So I, I figure she's still okay. <laughs> and then we have a, another Hello Kitty ornament down over here. And it just says Hello Kitty and it's got her in this like, little snow globe thing. See? There we go. And then we got this right here, this little painted horse from our trip to Tombstone, uh, Arizona. My grandparents live about an hour or so from there, and so we decided to visit, visit Tombstone when we were down there visiting them. Um, what other ornaments do we have? Oh, Hershey Kisses. We have some Hershey Kisses. This is a silver one. We have red, green, and silver that we got from our trip this year to Vegas um, from the, the Hershey place. Um, I can't remember where this Eminem guy came from. Do you? <laughs> Oh, Dia. My friend Dia gave that to me, I guess, a long time ago. Sometimes I have trouble remembering where all of my ornaments came from. <laughs> and then this one also came from Tombstone. It says so on the very front of our little dressed-up Christmas cacti. Um, and then we have this little ornament up here that we got from our church a couple of years ago. And so far, that's pretty much most of what we have. We have a few little ornaments that I picked up shopping. We have <laughs> this one. This, my sister gave us this one when um, I was engaged, when I first got engaged, and it's sort of silly and sort of fun. <laughs> Two uh, flamingos dressed in couples' wedded clothing and uh, sitting in a giant engagement ring. And then there's this cute little one. I liked it because it was kind of vintage. And um, So far, that's pretty much what we put up besides a few little balls and bells and things. So we will continue to dress up our tree. I still have a few ornaments. This one's just my initial that a friend gave to me for Christmas, and then this one's just a little um, floral frame. We don't have a photo in it. We need to, I guess, put one in there, but I just like it. It's pretty. It's vintagey. The hard part is figuring out where to hang it so it looks pretty and nice, and so the whole tree doesn't look like it's dressed in one certain area versus another. That's always the hardest part. So I feel like it's all even right now. <laughs> oh, man, where to hang it? Where to hang it? Do you guys ever find yourself trying to figure out where it balances really well? So you don't have like all of your ornaments in one small area? I hate putting stuff in the back because you can't really see it, but sometimes I feel like the back goes totally undecorated and the front gets over decorated. <laughs> oh, where the hell are you? I'm this one right up here. There we go, it's kind of on the back side. Uh oh, let's hang it up a little bit higher. There we go. There. Can't really see it there, but kind of can't see from the side. There. Okay. All 
right, guys, here's another ornament for our, for our tree this year. We got this when we went, gosh, when was it, a couple years ago? Mm -hmm. Two or three years ago when we went to Park City, Utah. Um, it's a ski resort, and they have this really cute little Christmas shop with tons of ornaments in it. And we went during the summertime, so I was really happy to find that cute little shop with lots of Christmas stuff in it. And so we got this one because it says, Our New Home, the Brady's. And I thought it was really cute. So they, they, wrote, they wrote our names in there for us. And so that's kind of like our little dream Christmas home that we'll have someday. And for now, we rent our dream home. <laughs> so Scott's going to go ahead and hang that on the tree. These are another initial gift that a friend gave to me. Um, and these are just like cut glass and hung on beautiful strings. So, yeah, that's another ornament that we have. Well, ornaments, I guess I should say. There's more than one. This is our final ornament that we have that we put on our tree every year. And we always put it on the very front of our tree because our family is forever. And that's what we believe. And that's something that's really important to us that we get to be together forever. And so we want to remind ourselves of that beautiful and precious gift at Christmas time. And so we have this little plaque that reminds us that families are forever. Child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping, who angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch our keeping. Go ahead. Okay. Adjusted, I know. Just kind of shove it through that top little notch, right? Yeah. In the back. There you go. There you go. Shove it back in there. Yeah. If you have to kind of bend the top of the tree around the back of it or something to pull it. Oh, it's totally crooked. Oh, stop. Why must you be so crooked? Ah, okay, perfect. So what I want you to do is now turn off the light.